Psalm 23, Global Baba, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But Christians do want for one thing or the other, Global Baba. Well, if you read it in context, he's not talking about I shall not want everything. He said, I shall not want. Number one, he maketh me to lie down, so I shall not want for direction. Number two, he leaves me beside still Same waters, waters, so I shall not want when it comes to crisis. Because he will keep me where there is still waters, not trouble waters. Number three, he restored my soul. I shall not want for restoration because in Christ there is restoration. You know, and then he went, he enumerated the things that you shall not want. It's not general ones. Go Baba. In the continent. Go Baba. In the continent. Well, that is the same Psalm 23. Yes, Psalm 23. <laughs> the same. Yes, same time. I have never seen it like that. Wow. Global Baba. Then the Continental. Okay, I'm, I'm happy that I have um, a little gift in broadcasting. At least I can manage my life in that. And you have the prophet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Global Baba. So that is Psalm 23. Yes, so it sir. means that, yeah. you know, all of those listings yeah. are the things that I shall not want. You shall not want them because of the death, burial, and resurrection. resurrection yes. Because at the end of the day, it says, he says, uh, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. death. So he was talking about the death of Christ. And that when, because that, the prophecy, death of Christ. Yes, that prophecy was David prophesying what will happen to Christ. So when Christ died, that's a shadow of death. And when he rose from the dead because of his resurrection, we do not want for this. Things. Wow. So it was a prophetic sound of Christ. Go, Baba. Then a continental. So we're going to do this matter now. We're already doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay.